Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy and this is the Game Vault and we're where we shouldn't be standing right outside of our bridge on our freighter here. But what we're going to talk about today is trade routes. That's something I never really messed with in this game. I heard it can be kind of lucrative, so I wanted to check it out and see for myself. I did a lot of groundwork for this video, so I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please leave a like on it down below. That's a huge help for me, and I hope it helps you in the future with what I found to be kind of confusing, and I wasn't sure if it was worthwhile, so we're going to find out if it's worthwhile together. But before we do that, let's cue up the music, and then we'll get right to it. All right, I'm going to give a big shout out to nomanskyresources.com for this wonderful graphic I'm showing you up here. And as you can see, there are eight types of economies in the game. The one economy we're not going to talk about today, but we have talked about before, is the pirate economy. That one exists outside of the trade route system because pirate goods, you know, which are contraband, can be traded at any of the other seven types of systems for big, big money, okay? So that one's being left out. But if we look at the top here, um, on the right-hand side, you're going to see we have orange, which is mining, manufacturing, which is yellow, uh, teal, technology, and red for power generation. The bottom one is only three things. That's scientific, which is the dark blue, uh, trading, which is green, and advanced materials, which is purple. And it doesn't matter where you start a trade route as long as you travel along the way the arrows are pointing. And they're going in a clockwise manner right there. Okay? So, boom. It shows you what's available at each one. And that's where you're going to buy those things for the cheapest prices. And the place that it takes you to is where you're going to get the most money out of it. So, Let's go ahead and visit the very first one that I have set up. Okay, so I built seven bases in seven different systems to do this video. Uh, the bases are very basic and they are divided up into Route 1 and Route 2. Route 2 is the one that consists of four different systems or four different economies which you see at the top of the graphic earlier and route one is the one that was at the bottom that only had three systems so for this video we're going to go to route 2a which is the very first one it is a uh, I believe it's actually a mining um, type economy so we're going to go there first we're going to look at what kind of money we have we're going to buy up all of the trade goods they have available and then take them to a manufacturing economy and dump them off there, buy those manufacturing goods and so on and so on. And I'm just going to take you, we're not going to travel together the whole time, but I will, you know, stop there as we buy and sell each time. Okay? So, boom, we're here. And look at that. So, when you build a base, <laughs> I recommend building a uh, landing pad so it doesn't do what it did for me there or do something different. So the bases I build are, these are all the same at every base. A uh, base computer, a solar panel, a battery, and a teleporter to make things really, really quick. Alright, going to the Galactic Terminal. We have 904 million units. So we're going to buy everything in bulk that they have that's a trade good and that's all we're going to buy from these guys so you see that dropped us down to under 900 million and that's all the trade goods that are available we're ignoring everything else now trade goods can be purchased at any trade terminal they can also be purchased at the actual space station but they are a little more expensive up there and they're also available in the little back room of the space station but again that shares an inventory with the space station itself so if you buy from the space station you go to that little back room there may be a couple more there there may not but it's not going to help anything i recommend going to these little uh 
locations here because you know you get the better money so boom we're leaving I'll see you at route 2b okay we started off with manufacturing a yellow one we didn't start off with the uh, orange one so we're now at a technology type location here so let's go on in and we'll do a quick sell of all of those wonderful items that we purchased and look at the difference here plus 59 plus 104 86 we had 904. Now we made 10 million bucks just like that. You know, not a lot of work. A lot of legwork setting it up, but, you know, it was just a quick little travel now. And the good thing is, now that I have this done, I can just travel between these whenever I want to make some money real quick and just do it so I'll see you at the next one okay we're at the next one let's go ahead and sell what we had nine twenty four look at that another ten million we're gonna buy up everything I'll see you at the next one okay we're at the fourth base we're gonna sell all this speed things up I recommend you clean out your uh, inventory like I did for this it makes life a lot easier <laughs> and even though we're at the last one we're gonna buy everything up and we're gonna go back to the first one I'll see you there all right so I've been at this exactly 12 minutes and five seconds since I hit record on the very first uh, part of making this video I'm gonna sell all this off yeah dirt's not worth much but hey 941 so we made what 37 million units in you know around 12 minutes now that might be a little deceptive because you know I had to do all the legwork and get everything set up to make these bases and all that but you only got to do that once and then you can quickly make money and you know and if you want to do it in in a different way well you could just go travel from one type of system to another now I'm gonna go up to the uh, actual here we go our freighter and I'll show you a real easy way to locate these different types of systems all right so here we are on the galactic map and you know you can look around and try to find construction experimental all that good stuff or you just push down on the d-pad bring up the economy filter and it breaks it down just like that picture I showed you earlier in the uh, video from the No Man's Sky resources right so anything orange those are uh, mining systems yellow those are the manufacturing you go to teal technology and red is power generation that's the route we just ran so if you're looking to you know start your own route up what I recommend doing is starting with mining or whichever one you want to start with let's say we're looking for a good mining one you're just gonna look at different orange stars until you find a three star system then you're gonna go to that system and find yourself a trade terminal there so you want um, your ship to have the economy scanner for sure and we'll just keep looking orange now, you're also probably going to want to have the highest upgrades to your warps, too, for a couple reasons. One, we're not sure what type of stars these are. Like, here we go. Boom. That's a regular old yellow star, but we don't know that, right? So, boom. There we go. We found our, our orange one. So, we would go there, and then afterward, we would look at yellow ones, so forth, so on, until you get your whole route set up. Pretty cool method of playing the game and this is something you can actually do from fairly early on um, just you won't be able to buy mass quantities of things for a couple reasons one it takes up room you know in your inventory you do start off with a very limited exosuit you start off with virtually no money so you might only be able to buy a handful of things but you know it's one way to make money from the get-go right anyway if you found this video useful at all 
please leave a like on it down below. Uh, it's a huge help for me, and uh, let me know in the comments if you ever really tried messing around with trade routes. Again, it's something I never really played with. I just kind of, you know, ignored it. I, I never knew if it would be worthwhile, and it just seemed kind of complicated, and blah, you know. Don't forget to leave a, uh, like I said, like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell for notifications. Thanks, as always, for joining me. I'm Captain Beefy. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.